Today's lesson is lesson 7.4 and the learning goal is I can rotate images and points about the origin. So today we're going to be looking at rotating points such as this one here and we're going to go 90, 180, we're going to move them about the origin. The origin is the middle, remember? That's the starting point and generally speaking. So we're going to move around clockwise, clockwise, and counterclockwise. Let's start with some jokes. Chuck Norris taught some Boy Scouts how to tie a knot. And it's a tree that was tied together. This is the Midville School for the Gifted. And there's a pull sign with the kids pushing it. Let's introduce some vocabulary today. This is so, 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 so very important, a clockwise motion. A clockwise direction is when we're moving in the hands of a clock. Counterclockwise is when we're moving in the opposite directions of a clock. A rotation is how all these moving things today. Rotations have a central point that stays fixed, and everything else moves around that point. And then, of course, our starting point is the origin. Now for today's lesson, I'm going to be having a guest speaker, and maybe you're familiar with him, maybe you're not, but he was really popular in the early 80s and 90s, and it's Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers is a local uh, kids show host, and um, he's really nice and welcome. I encourage you to YouTube his videos. Uh, and he has a really famous um, opening song he's going to sing for us, and then he's going to teach us about rotating images and points about the origin. Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Rogers here. I'm going to sing my theme song today. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? It's a neighborly day in the beauty wood. A neighborly day for our beauty. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? You be mine? I've always wanted a neighbor. Just like you, I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? To be, won't you please? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Hi neighbor, I'm glad we're together again. Let's begin by graphing some points around the origin. So I know Mr. Alou has many different ways to solve these questions here, but for today's lesson I'm just going to teach you one way. In class we'll be going over two ways. So we have three points here. And uh, point number one for question number one we have A, B, and C. So if you remember, boys and girls, thinking about clockwise, it goes in the direction of the clock. See that? So if it goes in the direction of the clock, this way, we're going to move about the origin in quadrants. So we'll go one, two. Isn't that just wonderful? So we're going to go 180 degrees clockwise. So that means we're going to jump 90. 180 and 270. So we have 5, 1. Because we're going 180, we're going to go 1, 2 quadrants. And every 90 degrees we go, we flip the coordinates. So we go 90 here, and it is now 1, 5. Then we go another 90 degrees, we go 5, 1. So you can see, boys and girls, that the points go back to what they were originally. Negative 1. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1. So that's point A. And I'm going to label it with a little dash above it because it's our new point. Now let's do the same thing for B. 
I just love doing problems like this. Don't you like doing problems like this, boys and girls? So we flip it once, and we get 1, 9. And then we flip it again, and we get 9, 1. So because we're going 180, we're going to end up in this quadrant. And all points in this quadrant are negative, negative. So we go negative 9, negative 1. And this is going to be B with a dash above it. Now let's do the same thing for C. We have 10 and we have 8. So we flip it once, we have 8, 10. And we flip it again, we get 10, 8. Because we're in the last quadrant, there are quadrant 3, we can add little negatives like that. So now we'll go negative 10 and negative 8. And we're going to label that C with a little dash above it like that. Now we can connect our dots and there we have it. And there we go. We've rotated our three points 180 degrees clockwise. Boys and girls, what do you notice about the image? Do you see how, if you think in your mind, how it's rotated? And then it's rotated again, so it's upside down? Wow, that was just an absolutely wonderful problem. Let's do another one. We have a 90 degrees clockwise turn. And point W is listed at 6, negative 6. Feel free to copy down the question if you'd like to practice ahead of time. So we have 6, negative 6. We're going to go clockwise 90 degrees. So remember that each quadrant is worth 90 degrees. So we're going to end up in this quadrant up here. Now, because it's anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, we're going in this direction. So I'm going to flip the points, and they just so happen to be 6, 6. Because I'm in this quadrant here, the points are positive, positive. And we have point W there. Man, I am just absolutely elated with this question. It is just glorious, isn't it? What a glorious day outside. Wow. I'm so glad you're my neighbor. Okay, number three. We have a 90 degrees clockwise turn, and we're going negative 4, negative 1 as our, our, our coordinate. So remember, clockwise goes in this direction. So what quadrant are we going to end up in? Well, we're going to end up in this quadrant right here. So we'll flip the points. So we have 1, 4. And because we're in this quadrant here, we'll have negative, positive. One, two, three, four. MH prime. And there we go. We moved our point clockwise about the origin 90 degrees. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for letting me teach you about rotating images today and points about the origin. I want to finish with my theme song, my closing theme. It's such a good feeling to know you're, you're alive. alive. It's, it's such a happy feeling. feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think, I think I'll, I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. The feeling you know that you're I'll be back alive. When the day is new. And I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will 
two. two. You always make each day such a special day. I want to just thank you for making today such a special day. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask Mr. Alou.